how to create a React app and host it on GitHub pages. It's free. I'll start with showing two examples. One is a basic React app. I edited the default text over here and also the title, Tom's website. And another example is a US state quiz that I've made from a React app. You can click on the different states and if you guess it wrong, well, it shows you. Okay, let's start with creating a new repository for our new React app. We'll call it host react app on GitHub pages. And we have to make sure it's a public repository unless we use a paid account. Also, let's add a readme file and create repository. For the next step, let's clone the repository to my computer using SSH. Copy, go to terminal and git clone and paste. Okay, now let's open VS Code on the new repository we created. And now we want to create the React app. So let's Google React create app. We'll go to the first link. And over here, we can use npx. To use npx, you need to install node and npm. You can Google node or npm in order to install them if you haven't. Let's go to Visual Studio Code, create a new terminal and paste the command. And also we want to create the React app in this current folder where I just cloned my repository. Okay, great. So let's start with npm start to run our local React app. npm start. Running this command would open a new tab in my browser on localhost with port 3000 and it would load the React app that we just created. Here it is. And now let's edit the text over here and also let's edit the title. We'll go to Visual Studio Code and open SRC, app.js, and let's hear, this is my new React app. Save it, and let's go to public, index HTML, and here we'll change the title to Tom's website too. And also let's change the description, uh, website to be hosted on github pages let's copy this and we also want to make changes in manifest json this file is used in case someone would bookmark your web app on their mobile device let's paste this and for the short name we'll use tom's website to save okay and now if we'll go back to our localhost we can see that the changes were reloaded this is my new react app and the title has changed okay let's commit all of these changes create react app we'll add all of the new files and commit and now for the second part of this video let's deploy our react app to github pages first let's go to our repository on github let's go to settings then choose the pages tab on the left here we can see we can deploy our website or react app from a specific branch right now we only have the main branch so we'll create a new branch and this branch will include an optimized production build of our react app meaning only files that are needed to run our website or our react app as quickly as possible so let's go to VS Code and we'll use a, a script that I will share in the description of this video. We'll call it deploy.sh and I'll paste the content. Okay, let's go over the content of this script file. First, we want to abort on errors. Second, we want to run npm run build. This command would create a new folder called build which will include a minimalized version of your React app. It is important to mention that we have to use this public URL environment variable and set its value to your GitHub pages URL that you will host your React app or website on. 
This is important because if we'll, you look at index.html file, this environment variable is used to load all of the different resources needed, like images, JavaScript files, or CSS files. After running the npm run build command, we'll change directory to the build folder, and then we'll use a little trick in order to only push the build output files into the new branch we mentioned, that this branch will include the files that will deploy it into your GitHub Pages website. Now, there are two options. You can either host one and only one website on this URL that will include your username, or you can host multiple repositories or multiple websites or Re React apps on different URLs each URL will include the name of your repository. For example, you can see here that this repository name was used in this URL and another repository name was used in this URL, but both include my username. Okay, so here we have to use the repository name of the repository we just created together, this one over here. Okay, so now let's run our script. Create a new terminal and let's type sh deploy.sh. So we're running the npm run build command and creating an optimized production build of our React app. And then we push the build output files into a new branch in our repository called gh pages. Let's go to our repository refresh the page and now we see our branch gh pages okay so now let's go to the react app we just deployed to github pages we can go back to our script file and copy the url we used go to our browser open a new tab paste and go now your website may not uh, be available right after you deploy it and it may take up to 10 minutes as github says so here it is our react app hosted everyone can access it and it's on github pages thank you so much if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video